Welcome to Flip Clock Fans. Um, this is our first instructional video. Um, today we're going to talk about disassembly of the Panasonic RC6025, also known as the Groundhog Day Clock. I'm going to try to do this disassembly without any stops in the video. Uh, I have to keep moving. I usually like to go slower than that just because uh, I like to take my time with things, but we're going to we're going to try to go straight through it so you can see how long this actually takes. Um, this is the RC6025. Happens to be a really good quality one. Um, and so the first thing we want to start with in disassembly is to make sure you have a good area to work. There's a lot of screws going to be coming off. You need to keep them where you can get to them. They will roll and and get lost. So we're just I'm just going to set mine here. Sometimes I'll have a tray or something like that. Okay. Uh, don't be afraid of taking this apart. You just have to be careful. If it's an older model and it hasn't been disassembled in a while, the buttons and stuff are going to be hard to get off. All the buttons do have to come off before you even get started. So this one's pretty straightforward. You just pull up and take it off. We'll set this aside. This one, same way, pull up. Now if these are old, it, will, it can take a while. So you have to pull out your special tools to get this off. And that would be a butter knife. Uh, it is actually the best tool for it. I do, I'm not kidding. Now I would slide this under here. Usually I'd put a piece of paper towel up under here to soften this and I gently pry. Sometimes I get under here and gently pry. This one has been off before so I can just take time and pull it off. This one here tends to be a little bit of trouble. Sometimes I can't get to it. And so again I'll take my special tool and just a little piece of paper towel so I don't mar the surface and just gently prop that up. If it's not coming off easily, take your time. Go around there and take, and it will come off. Okay, the sides. Uh, this one's pretty straightforward. This is the dial for the uh, radio. You got to pull that off. Again, sometimes in the older ones, you'll have to uh, use a little uh, leverage. Everything comes pulled straight off. Don't get off at an angle, and don't be in a hurry if it doesn't come off right away. Now they will break. This one seems to be the toughest one of them all. I have sometimes taken a pair of pliers. Uh, you're going to end up marring the surface if you do that. Sometimes I can pull here first. There's two buttons here. And this one's going to be tough for me today. There. I pulled it out a little bit. Now I can get to this one. Again, it comes straight out. Okay, you, put, you turn that at all, you're going to break that. It's very sensitive. And then this one comes off very simply like that. Okay, we don't lose our knobs. Those are almost impossible to find uh, for the RC6. 6025. Okay, so step one. Now the screws. We will have to turn over here. Uh, I think the best way to just take every one of the screws out right away. We've got uh, one, two, three, four, five that hold the cabinet in, and then we've got two that hold the clock in. This is the clock face. You can take them all out at once and not have a problem. So I uh, hate to bore you, but we're going to go ahead and just do it right straight through again to see, so we can get an idea of how long this actually takes. Uh, I like this. This just happens to work for me. It's a, oh, oh, what is this? A Black & Decker? I've had it forever. But it just happens to be the right length. Uh, if you're a purist, you might just want to use a regular one. Uh, you don't want to over torque these, but we're, we're coming out, so we should be all right. Okay, so you hear that click, click. That's when it's cleared the... Uh, threads there I cleared the threads there all right I'm not putting a lot of force in this either I'm not pushing down more hard and then the two that hold the motor in place Magnetic screwdriver will come in handy. Okay, so now if it doesn't come out all the way, I I don't if, I disassemble these quite a bit. I don't worry about it. I don't worry about taking those screws out because what happens next is I'm gonna turn that over and those mostly those screws are gonna fall out. Okay, so the ones that do, so we've got one, two, three, four. I'm not gonna worry about that other one right now. It'll come out and it's time. Okay, now, again, if it's an old clock, you're going to have trouble getting this off sometimes. I think the best way to do it is to place your thumbs, one here and one here. You're going to lift up with your fingers. Make sure that you're getting into here. Don't force anything. You can mess these things up. Push down and lift up. Now, on the real tough ones, 
See, what you don't know if you've never worked on these is it's pretty it's pretty safe in here. I mean, if, if you're not going over here, if you've got it unplugged, you're going to be okay. So I have taken a butter knife and lightly pried. Everything needs to be nice and easy. Okay, this comes off. You'll turn right over to get to the speaker because it is connected to the top of the lid. Pretty straightforward on this assembly there. Just unscrew the screws if you can see what you're doing. And then I just lift to make sure. What we've got is three washers. We've got three washers and three screws. Uh, And like I said, these, these are hard to replace, so you want to go ahead and hang on to those and put them in a safe place. A lot of times by now, I'll put those in a baggie, uh, and I highly recommend that. I'll set this off to the side. That's our top. Then we've got the innards here. Uh, by this time, my other screw's probably falling out. There it is. Just from taking the lid off, that other screw fell out. So, Okay, we've got two screws on the circuit board itself. Uh, one here and one here. Those have to come out. Again, this should be unplugged. You can have some very unpleasant surprises if you're working on a live one. And I'm not going to tell you how I know that. Okay, this just lifts straight up. Uh, if it's an old one, again, you may have to work it. Do not force. It will come up. Just wiggle it. It'll come right off. Uh, and there we have that. Now we have uh, the clock mechanism is already loose. This is our transformer. No, no issues here. So we're just going to take the two screws that hold that in, take them out. Now I will tell you, again, if it's a real old model, a lot of, well, they're all old, but if it's, I don't know, a lot of the yellowed ones, now I'll find that screw later, it's in there. Uh, this plastic can break when you're taking those screws out. I'm just sorry, it's just part of what it is. I've tried to figure a way to stop that. Uh, I haven't quite got it. So you just kind of gently lift that up and out. And you see the whole thing's moved away. These two here, sometimes some rascals, whatever factory's been working on those, will put a little bit of black tarry glue in here. And you may have to, the best way to get that out is to grab both of them. And I use this to push and give myself some force. It will come out. Now this, thankfully, no one, didn't, no one put that in there. I see that more in the 6015s. You can gently put a, a, a tool down in there, something to gently try to break that loose. I've warmed it up with... Uh, uh, um, hair dryer sometimes. Uh, I don't recommend that. These things can take up to about 150. There's my screw from the uh, from the transformer. Uh, they can take up to 150 without any 50 degrees without any problem. But your hair dryer will exceed that pretty quick. So you got to. I'd be really cautious around heat. Again, uh, that's experience talking. All right. Uh, but again, if you get if you get that leverage, you can pop that out of there. Just again, slow, steady. Take your time. Uh, that's the biggest problem people get into and there is our front face which in this model is actually very Easy you just kind of lift up. So I'm just gonna and I'm pushing down with my fingers at the same time just to lift up Okay, so we're there's the base. There's all the innards We'll set this off to the side now for a, the, the, the other disassembly you can do here this I want to urge caution uh, but you can take this front plate off uh, unlike the uh, 6015, the Back to the Future clock, it's not it's not possible. You'll see there's tabs here. Now you, these will break. Okay, so if you're heavy-handed, you're most likely going to break at least one of them. Don't break them. I'm pushing that tab down. Is a I'm going to push that tab down. Now now I'm holding this here because it's going to want to try to pop back in. And I'm going to push this tab down there. Now I'm going to flip it over. Now there's three on this side. On the bottom side, one, two, and three, but really there's only two tabs that you have to push down. I can't believe it's cooperating for me this well today. Again, the first time you do this, it's going to be really tight. You're going to wiggle it out. You're going to take your time. If it starts to get hung up, go back in. There we are. Now I've got my lens. Now I can get to this. I can clean this out really good. Just plain soap and water is your friend. Okay? No... Uh, you can use alcohol. You can actually use ammonia, which I highly recommend. Ammonia won't hurt anything in here. I'd keep it off the circuit board, but it'll clean out that black smoke you get in there from the electric smoke from an old time. I'm telling you, that's a, that's my secret. 
you clean that out real good it cleans this up real good some of that black tarry smoke uh, will clean that up then if you have hard water or well, even if you don't take distilled water and rinse everything off shake it out this here they use white lithium grease so usually I'll, I'll give that a, a little bit and a little you don't need a lot you put a lot it's going to pick up a lot of dirt so what we've got here is the fully disassembled RC6025 um, you want to take care to not poke a hole in your paper cone this amazing little speaker puts out a really good sound you want to these are they're pretty stout though you you don't have to be too careful here's our light the one that always burns out uh, I guess I could show you how to take that off uh, what you're gonna do is gently gently that's the word of the day isn't it uh, you're gonna pry that up and that'll lift off it this I've actually replaced the bulb uh, and it's gone right into uh, replaced it soldered in a new one to the circuit board so uh, you'll have to take undo this little wire and pull this out often the heat has caused this to fuse in here and that's a trick to get out again take your time work it out okay we want to protect these lenses they are actually easily scratched so there's my mess thanks for watching come visit us at flipclockfans.com